very early in the morning. It's still dark out, like 6.45. For some reason, I woke up at 4.30, so I did my husband's, I think because we went to bed um, before 9 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm up, and usually I would eat breakfast like right away. I haven't had coffee yet. Um, but 4.30 is just like a little bit too early, so um, I actually did like Monday client check-ins at like 5 a.m. And I smashed them all out in the, I have about seven right now. Um, and I, I did them all by 6.45, so that feels good. So now I have like the day. Um, I have to run some errands. I do have more work to do. I'm gonna work on some podcast episodes actually. I am pretty behind on the schedule. Um, Mishi who does our social media is like, have you got the audio yet? Have you got the audio yet? <laughs> so she can make the graphics. I'm gonna try and work on some things like that. Um, it's also full on like lightning storm outside right now. And I'm whispering because my baby is asleep. So um, it was requested to show you guys some I'm doing the life of eating. So I'm gonna make breakfast and maybe tomorrow we'll do lunch and maybe the next day we'll do dinner or something like that. We usually do like three to four eggs and some toast um, and some maybe some sauteed spinach or something. But I don't have my toast. I had to take that. I took this bread loaf out of the freezer and so I'm doing tortillas instead, um, which is great. So we're basically gonna do breakfast tacos, I guess. And there's no vegetables with them. Full disclosure, that happens to me a lot. Where then my husband will come out and he'll make like this scramble that has potato and sweet potato and mushrooms and spinach and all of this stuff. And I'm over here with my eggs and toast. But I just like it. Like toast with butter and fried egg or poached egg just on its own it's just like oh uh, um so i just make sure i have like three of them i have like coffee after and i have some milk in it and um today i'm doing this chipotle avocado mayonnaise on the tacos as well yeah, i think it's gonna be great important part of my work on Mondays at like 5 a.m. this morning um, but then my cleaner my, I have an Airbnb so we pay a cleaner to come and clean it and she didn't show up she didn't show up like I know because I um, I just have ways of knowing if, if she's come into the house or not to start cleaning and she didn't so I had to go over there and do it all by myself right I never even tell that I've been crying because it was like it was really intense. Um, Jake and I were switching off, so I watched Zara in the morning, and then she went down for a nap. And as soon as I was gonna like take a second for myself, I realized the cleaner didn't show up, so I had to get in the car and go. And I've had a I have a really bad elbow injury right now that when I clean and cook and things like when i lift things it flares up and it gets really bad and it's so now it's aggravated and it's really really bad and i spent the whole time cleaning this house away from like having to step away from my full-time job step away from my sick kid to clean this house with my elbow in agonizing pain and so i just am having a moment and being like and I have to finish like a vlog and get a vlog up, you know, and I know I don't have to. I'll just miss it. Like, no one would probably even know. But. So, I'm making lunch now. I'm not hungry at all because I just feel upset. I'm trying to like calm down. So, when you're super upset, super high anxiety, you just kind of like you lose your appetite. It's a survival thing. Um, you just don't have like the energy or the space for digestion. 
So I'm trying to like cook some food, make it slowly, um, and just calm my body down so that I can eat. So I'm making chicken sandwiches for me and Jake while he watches Zara right now. You saw my sandwich, it was disappointing. <laughs> like, no, it was delicious, but for you to watch. You know, I think day in the life of eatings are interesting because they're not. Um, and I know that the reason they're helpful in the context of HA is just like, we really sometimes don't know what to eat. So I hope in many ways that seeing that like my morning doesn't consist of like, waking up and making a waffle and like cooking bacon and then like having sauteed veggies like it just never consists of that when i was in recovery my breakfast had more like um it would be like toast with avocado and feta and mint and then poached eggs it was much much bigger at the time and sometimes i go through stages where i do have to up my breakfast to be more like that like when i was trying to get my postpartum period back um, or when I see uh, my cycle parameters decline, I will kick up gear with breakfast, right? And it will become more than just like um, a couple pieces of toast and three eggs. Like, but at the end of the day, like that's what I really like. And there was a time where I wouldn't, I, so I would go to like a cafe and I would get one piece of toast, no butter and one or two poached eggs because the poached eggs are not cooked in oil, right? And that's what I would get. Um, and so now to have like two toast with butter um, or tortillas with, um, you know, chipotle mayonnaise or cheese and eggs on the, that were cooked in oil, like that's actually a significant difference and um, huge improvement calorically in what I was eating. And I think that What's most important is actually the intention of where you're eating or where your restriction comes from. The body knows if you are restricting food and if like, if what we're getting is a ration versus, hey, this is what I really feel like. This is what eating in abundance without holding back means to me. I would have no problem upping the food intake <laughs> Um, if I had to, I just am busy. I don't want to, I'm no longer food focused. So yeah. And then lunch, same thing. Like ugh, I've just been on a sandwich kick now for like five months. I think I love chicken, avocado, mayonnaise, sandwich, bit of lemon or a beef, like a steak sandwich. So I'll often do that. Um, and if I don't do that, I'll do maybe um, a salad that has like a whole apple in it and has nuts and cheese and fatty meat in it. Um, and sometimes I'll do like a side of bread or whatever, or I'll put rice in salad, like cold rice. I don't know if other people like that, but I like it. Um, and then typically after lunch, I have coffee. <laughs> Um, and then sometimes if I'm having any kind of issues, um, hormonally or metabolically, I'll cut that cough, that coffee, but I've only done that a handful of times in my life. Um, and there's milk in my coffee a lot at the moment lately. So that's kind of a little insight into breakfast and lunch. I'll have a snack in between oftentimes, and then I'll often have a snack in between lunch and dinner, but, but also I won't all the time either. So again, I think that, um, you know, my plate may not look like what people imagine. <laughs> and there might even be some people who are like, I lost my period on that much food, which is interesting, right? Um, absolutely. If I went any lower than what I was eating now, I think I would have an issue getting my cycle back. But I truly believe that a lot of it is about like the additional stresses you have on your plate, the intention about where your food and restriction is coming from. And so long as you're cooking um, meals that have protein, fat, and carbohydrate consistently and in solid quantities and ratios, 
you're gonna be winning. So don't forget to cook with your oils. Um, like today, that chicken was chicken breast, not my favorite. I usually wouldn't, but my husband, that's just what he had. I would normally do like chicken thigh. The av avocado, mayonnaise, like have these fats, have carbohydrates. Um, and you know, I feel like a good rule of thumb is like, what is the one or two ingredients you need that takes this from a diet food to an actual like whole nourishing meal? It's usually fat <laughs> or it's usually like the, you know, actual carbohydrate and not like some low fat version of something. Like not a rice cake, not a low fat wrap, um, not half a piece of bread. Like I don't know if any of you guys did this, but like I would get, I would get a sandwich, if I got, ever got a sandwich or a burger, I would open it in half and then I would eat one half and the other half separately in order to make the food last longer. Isn't that wild, right? But now I eat the whole sandwich as it was designed to be eaten without hesitation. So behaviors like that, that are tr where you're trying to like make your food last longer because the portion, because um, you're hungry, right? You might eat more food than I ate if you know at a meal and if you're doing that, your brain knows it means that your brain is in, it's, it's a sign of starvation, of restriction. So when you can comfortably just eat, you know, a full breakfast, that full being all the macronutrients, all the ingredients you truly want, not full being a whole plate of food. When you could truly do that and those behaviors go away, you know you're eating pretty well. I hope this helped, guys. This day has been crazy. I'm so tired. My husband just took the baby for a while so I can get this video up for you guys. So all likes and thumbs up for this video are being dedicated to my husband. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Please like and subscribe.